Well, hello again from Kingston. It's Thanksgiving weekend here in Canada, and I'd like to wish everyone a very happy Thanksgiving, particularly the construction workers and their families on the Third Crossing project. It's been quite a busy week, so we'll get right into it. All the best. This week was supposed to begin with the first layer of asphalt. But a rainy forecast put paid to those ambitions and instead gravel was laid in the median. In an age of automation, it's good to see that some tasks are still best performed by hand. The rain had no impact at all on the steady stream of trucks delivering gravel to build up the roadway to the abutment. And a bulldozer was kept very busy for most of the day, levelling and pushing the material towards the abutment. Over the river, on top of the steel structure, work continued to install the guardrails and sidewalks that will protect the workers during future construction. A great deal of lumber is used, and there's almost inevitably some adjustment required. The whole process of building the sidewalks is incremental with the guardrails delivered first, then wrangled into place, before the deck boarding is laid and secured. There's always work to do too, to prepare for the laying of concrete slabs. On Tuesday, it was time for the first paving to be laid on Highway 15 and this involved the introduction of a new company to the site, G. Williams from Kingston. Working on the area of the highway that had previously been scored, they laid down a preparatory fluid which assists adhesion of the asphalt layer. A line of trucks carrying asphalt awaited deployment. Before long, the asphalt layer moved into position, final adjustments were made, the hopper was loaded, and then it was off to the races. Heavy rollers move into action as soon as every pass is made, including this tandem roller weighing some 15,000 pounds. this rubber tired roller tipping the scales at about 11,000 pounds. While all of this was taking place on the east side of the bridge, on the west side they were pouring side walls. And of course all the while the demanding Skill testing work of laying reinforcing rod continues. Wednesday morning turned out to be a very foggy one, but it didn't stop work on concrete pouring on the eighth span. Back up on Highway 15, another day of asphalt laying began. You can judge the heat of the asphalt about 140 degrees centigrade by the steam coming off this load. And every pass brings the rollers back into action. Down beside the east abutment, a steady stream of gravel trucks was accompanied by others removing rubble from the south embankment. A hallmark of this week 
has been the steady build-up of the roadway to meet the abutment and the bridge level. Evidence of work to further compact the sidewalks and median was the fact that Clark's water wet down the whole area during the day. Thursday brought more installation of the concrete slabs that sit atop the steel. Each of these has its own particular position and it has to be lowered carefully into place. And all the while this week, a steady stream of gravel trucks continued to provide material to build up the roadway. And work continued to refine the median and to prepare it for further compaction. It turned out that there would be no further paving work this week. But a new excavator arrived, and just when you thought that infrastructure work might be nearing completion, a new set of concrete vaults was delivered. A great deal of work continued too on the steel structure. With several concrete slabs placed, and work on the installation of guardrails continuing. The weather has been really good recently and fall colours are beginning to become increasingly evident. So let's close with a look at some of those and the usual wildlife. have it. A long weekend ahead and fall colours are really beginning to appear. We can expect the, uh, the culmination sometime in the next week or two and we'll be looking out for it. Remember if you want to keep getting these updates consider subscribing to receive notifications. Thanks for watching.